Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back to Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Uh, again, I'm, I'm sorry, as I feel like I say this all the time, I'm sorry that it's been so long because I've uh, put up a video. I just, I don't have the time or the energy or, and, and those are the excuses I know, but uh, call it laziness, whatever. Um, but anyway, it's my day off today, so I figured uh, I'd get some recording done. Um, I have been around YouTube and I've seen, uh, yeah, watch out for these spiders, uh, they shoot webs at you, yeah. they can be tricky to dodge, um, do a lot of jumping because they're gonna basically throw their webs wherever it is that you are uh, on the screen, so uh, you can get them to kind of shoot them over your head or under you or, you know, any combination of that if you just keep moving. Might as well get some hearts, you know. Yep, uh, on this screen you're going to get uh, a, a nifty little uh, item called the, the Sacred Flame. What you're going to want to do is get back to the bottom left part of the screen. You know, use your holy water through the blocks here. Through these blocks here. And uh, you're going to use it again on the on the, uh, the blocks up against the left wall. The bats are kind of a pain in the ass. Their patterns are really kind of all over the place. There you go. See, there's another example of how it says possess the sacred flame, where sometimes it'll say process. That's what I was talking about. Um, so it basically acts kind of like the holy water, only it sets off um, a, a chunk of fire, basically. I don't use it too often. I prefer to... I, I'm Again, call it laziness. I don't like to keep going back and forth, you know, between uh, items and weapons and equipping one and equipping another and back and forth a lot. I just stick with one, which probably adds to uh, some of my fa amount of failure. I think if I really utilized what I had uh, more efficiently, more appropriately, uh, I'd be more uh, I'd be more efficient if I used uh, everything that was at my disposal. I believe the next town is uh, down those stairs there. Or is it the next mansion's down there? No, actually we're heading to the next town right now. Um, anyway, like as I was starting to say earlier, I've been around YouTube uh, and um, I've noticed that some people are... Uh, for the longest time, uh, it was a 10 minute time limit that you had for your videos. Uh, then recently, uh, they switched it to 15 minutes, which, okay, great. Uh, now there are those that can uh, upload videos even longer than that. I still haven't noticed uh, if it applies to everybody or not. Oh, man, of course i got to arrive in town just as it turns night. Great. So now i got to basically uh, waste your time uh, by watching, uh, making you uh, watch me wait until morning. I can do what I've got to do in this town. My life is pretty low. My best option would probably be just to, like I've said before, hang off to the side somewhere and just wait it out. But I, I just don't think I can bring myself to just, you know, stand uh, completely still on one point of the screen and not move. What a boring video that would be, you know? Um, but anyway, I, I don't know if the whole, uh, you know, longer time limits now I'll apply to everybody because um, I haven't actually logged in to my YouTube account. I guess when I go to upload this video here, um, I'll find out. But having said that, I can't imagine making a video longer than 15 minutes, even though with a game like this, where there's no specific you know levels, I, I, I could basically re record probably the rest of this game all in one video and, and, and put it up. But I, I can't imagine doing that. I can't imagine. I find it kind of like uh, anybody who would do that, and I'm not knocking anybody who decides to do that, but I just think it's kind of arrogant, it's kind of just really arrogant that, that you think that, are you kidding me, fucking A, I just, that's the second life that I've lost now in this game, and it's from doing the exact same things I did that I did the last time, that's classic man. Absolutely classic. Two lives lost, um, making the same mistake over again. <laughs> if I had just freaking stayed still. Unbelievable. I, I don't even know what to say. 
Anyway, as I was saying, I, I can't imagine making a video more than 15 minutes long. Um, I can't imagine asking anybody... Well, of course. Of course it turns back to morning now, you know. You know, Steve lost a life, basically, so feel free to change back to morning. I can't imagine uh, making a, a longer video, simply because I feel like I'm already kind of asking people to take 15 minutes out of their busy day to watch my nonsense, basically. You know, maybe it's that I don't feel that I'm important enough or worthy of people's time. But, um, you know, to post, like, you know, a 45-minute long video, an hour-long video, that's pretty gutsy. You know, you got to have respect for people's time. Anyway, you're going to buy garlic from this guy here. Um, we're going to use that to obtain uh, the golden dagger in just a little bit. Um, yeah, you got to have respect for people's time, and i got to go all the way around. You kid, God. Um, and, and, and how could you actually expect somebody to watch you know, like an hour-long YouTube video? You know, do you feel like you're that important? I know I don't. You know, I feel like I'm infringing on people's time, and you know, I think I said I just don't have that that amount of uh, of an ego or that enough self-confidence to say that I'm worthy of an hour of your time. So anyway, what I'm kind of saying in a roundabout way is that the videos are going to be 15 minutes long, no longer than that, sometimes even shorter. Oh, I just went in the wrong house. Yeah, it, well, there uh, that a good example of a, of a useless uh, townsperson. You know, Dracula's eyeball reflects the curse. Um, yeah, whatever. So I guess that's a good example of how, uh, when I was saying earlier, that the townspeople don't give you any useful information. Actually, it's going to be a door down here that I'm looking for, up these stairs. Also in this town, we're going to be able to trade uh, the white crystal for a blue one. Definitely going to want to do that. You have to do that. You really don't have a choice. This would be the building I was looking for. It looks exactly like the other one, though, so I guess that's why I can't blame myself too much for, uh, for making a mistake. Laurels. Laurels are an item that will um, provide you with some uh, invincibility, basically. Uh, later in the game, there's large um, uh, spaces of like toxic water, or toxic, whatever you want to call it. And the only way to get across... Um, I don't know if it's the only way to get across. You probably make a run for it. You'd take a lot of damage, but you might be able to do it. But obviously, to, to save yourself from taking some serious damage and possibly losing a life, you're going to want to use the laurels. What a laurel is exactly, I don't know. Um, you know, in addition to buying some laurels, can I, you know, buy some hardies as well? Oh, terrible joke. I, I apologize. Anyway, this is the guy that's going to exchange the white crystal for a blue one. Definitely, you need to do that. Um, I'm not going to equip it just yet. Laurel and Hardy. That was a terrible joke. I mean, I, I um, I was never a huge Laurel and Hardy fan. Um, even um, I mean, I know. Typically, most guys go to for the Three Stooges, which I I love the Three Stooges. Don't get me wrong, but I was always more of a Marx Brothers kind of guy. Um, I I always, it, it, as far as you know, comedic teams from that time period. Uh, anyway, um quick side note, I'm not even talking about the game, I'm too busy rambling my ass off. You're going to want to throw uh, some garlic down near the water here, not into the water, but kind of kind of near it. How do I even... How the hell do I get my, my cursor down? Wow. I'm looking really stupid right now. That wasn't even... Oh, man. Alright, bear with me here while I try to figure out exactly how to get my cursor down to select uh, the garlic.
That would be a Laurel, Steve. Okay, wow. I'm just failing here. Anyway, let's try that with garlic this time. There we go. I think that should be it. And then basically once you do that, you walk back over to the left and uh, a person's gonna... Yeah, there he is right there. He's gonna give me the golden dagger. Oh, silver. Silver knife. I apologize. I called it the golden dagger. It's actually the silver knife. You know, I got both the adjective and the noun wrong. <laughs> anyway. So I just wasted one of my laurels, but... Okay. I think maybe I actually got this right. Okay. There's the sacred flame. Just to show you what that does. I guess I'll equip that for now. But anyway, we're, we're done in this town. We're going to go all the way back to that staircase that we passed earlier. That's going to lead to the next mansion. And uh, therefore the next part of Dracula's body that we need. Where was I? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, comedy teams from the 30s. Uh, gotta love the Three Stooges, yeah, but I was always uh, more of a Marx Brothers person. I, I just prefer that brand of humor, especially Groucho. I mean, he's just the master of the one-liner, basically. I think uh, uh, Day of the Races is probably my favorite Marx Brothers movie. Only because uh, basically Groucho poses as a veterinarian. I'm mean, sorry, he's a vet. Um, God, he's a vet. He is a veterinarian, but he poses as a, uh, you know, as a as a human doctor. And uh, you know, comedy ensues. You know, it's a horrible night to have a curse. I know. What else is going on? It's winter. Um, we're in the middle of yet another ridiculous storm. As you all know, I hate snow. hate it with all my heart. Um, the whole uh, attempt at quitting smoking, I'm not going to get... Uh, it's too late. I'm, I'm up to like 12 minutes already. There's not enough time to get into what's going on there. Um, I guess we'll talk more about that later. We're not too far off. Here's where you're going to want to equip the blue crystal. Kneel down, wait for it, and that happens. And you're now able to proceed down to the right to the next mansion. Who would think to do that? I don't know. Anyway, here we are at the next mansion. Everyone, take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. I'll talk to you later. Bye.